Well, we put our knowledge to work in middle market finance for CIT uh, with our industry verticals. Uh, we have by far the broadest and deepest uh, expertise in the marketplace as it relates to our competition. We have a commercial and industrial business, which is old economy, manufacturing and distribution. We have a communications, media and entertainment business. We have an energy business. We have a healthcare business, a retail restaurant business, and an aerospace and defense business. I would gauge the demand for lending in the middle market as robust, uh, but not for M&A, traditional M&A activity, which we've seen in the past. We're seeing most of the middle market demand for the refinance of existing capital structures, specifically more expensive junior capital, or for a dividend to support the internal rates of return of the private equity sponsors that own the company. Middle market uh, lending practices have changed dramatically over the past three years. We have seen the return of traditional lenders, the banks and the finance companies. We've seen new entrants to the market, specifically private equity backed finance companies. And we've seen the return of CLOs and BDCs. With greater capital entering the marketplace becomes more aggressive structures and more aggressive financing terms. I don't think credit conditions are going to change uh, dramatically over the next year. The Fed's monetary policy continues to support a low interest rate environment, which makes it an attractive time for a consumer or a small business to borrow money. In 2013, the energy, specifically oil field services businesses, and the information technology businesses were the ones that spurred overall trading activity. In 2014, I don't see any material changes in industries of interest for private equity sponsors. Energy, specifically again oil field services, and information technology are the growth industries that private equity sponsors have keyed in on and will continue to focus on those going forward. In the face of a flat to down M&A environment, private equity, our private equity clients have been holding their businesses longer. Uh, they've been making their returns by two ways. One, they've been making strategic tuck-in acquisitions, and two, they've been focusing on internal organic growth opportunities they might not necessarily have in the past. That might be a product extension to what they currently do. That might be new hiring of Salesforce to spur sales. It might be going international. It could be a host of different things.